seconds. Two seconds. Tonight's post-game show is presented by the Game Day Broadcast Network, the official online broadcast partner of the Virginia High School League. Now, let's join the broadcast crew worldwide online at gamedaymagazine.com. And we welcome you back here. Andy Hayes alongside Mike Cerrone. Final score, 77 to 56. That was it. The Petersburg Crimson Wave with a great performance here by Frank Mason. And they get it done. They move on to the state championship game on Friday night. And that's going to be a fun one here. They'll play the winner of Hampton and Henrico County. And we will be looking forward to watching them again. Frank Mason today, he did everything for this team. No question about it. He was the difference maker here. Mike Cerrone, let's go back and take a look here at some of the highlights in this one in our game rewind. Outside shot misses there. But I'll tell you one, one advantage, Mike, that happened today. I thought when Bullock went down for most of the third, that's when Petersburg really stretched this lead out, didn't it? Yeah, Kikitan pretty much won the second quarter with their big run, um, coming back from 16-3 down in the first quarter. And, and when, when Bullock went out, it, it, just, it just changed the whole complexity of the game for, for Kikitan. Frank Mason started with the first 16 points in this game. That's right. He scored the first 16 for Petersburg. And what he does is not only does he get it done offensively, but how about the rebounding today? I mean, he was tremendous on the board, made his teammates better. That's an assist from him right there. And you come out and you try to play a little tougher defense on him, and guess what? That's what he does. He drives right in the lane, goes over your 6'7 guy, and says, not going to catch it. You're not going to block this shot. He easily had a double-double this game with, uh, with points and rebounds. And it's, it's just a great addition. For, for, for Coach Height to have a rebounder in Frank Mason being that small, and he doesn't have to play the big position. He can play the point guard as well. Marcus Hoosier also had a good ball game here in this one as the Petersburg Crimson Wave. This could have been a great bucket blocked there by Shaw. Mark Shaw saved another highlight play being shown here, but <laughs> the pass, tremendous. There's Thomas with the bucket and the follow. I mean, hey, this Petersburg team has all of the components that you look for in a state champion. Most importantly, a guy that just will not be stopped in Frank Mason. When you have a point guard to build around, as in Frank Mason, it's, it's just unstoppable sometimes. And as of tonight, Kikitan, it just was too, it was, Petersburg was too powerful for him. And with Frank Mason leading the point, feeding to, feeding to all, of his, all of his other guys, it was, it was just too much to handle for Kikitan. Mason putting it in, and Petersburg putting the finishing touches here on a big win. They will move on to the state championship here on Friday night. That's coming up here. We'll have that coverage for you. Make sure you tune in for all of the exciting championship coverage here for Petersburg. Post-game press conferences are coming up next. For Mike Cerrone and our entire production crew, I'm Andy Hayes. We'll see you next time here on the Game Day Broadcast Network. SL State Championships are powered by the Game Day Broadcast Network, the official online broadcast partner of the Virginia High School League. Tonight's broadcast may not be duplicated or redistributed without the express written consent of Game Day Properties, LLC. All rights reserved.